I'm James Bedford. Welcome to Cisco Live TV. The world of solutions at Cisco Live 2015 in Milan is full of some of Cisco's boldest partners. I'm joined now by partner F5, and I'm speaking to Calvin Rowland, who's the Senior Vice President of Business Development. Calvin, thank you for joining me. Pleasure to be here. The last time we met, the big news was that F5 and Cisco were now partners. Right. How's the relationship going? It, it's going great, and, and by the way, you know, you say it that way, there was a time not that long ago that the idea that F5 and Cisco would have an alliance of any kind was, it just, it, unheard of. You could not believe that it was happening, but it has. Yeah. Uh, we announced the alliance back in November of 2013, and so uh, a lot has happened. One of the things that we found out, uh, confirmed really, something we already knew, but it's always good to confirm out in the wild, uh, is that our customer bases overlap yep. significantly. We have a lot of customer base uh, overlap. In fact, if we look at our large enterprise customers, our affinity towards one another is even greater. Uh -huh. uh, it exceeds our market share, actually, which is saying something because we have over 50% market share. And, and, and so, it is true that prior to us having an alliance, our customers uh, were taking our technologies and, and, and integrating them with one another. So you could say, and in fact I have said, that our technology was working together, so what's different now is the people are working together. And so from day one when we announced the alliance, we started genuine co-development, uh -huh. earnest collaboration with one another. We didn't just announce an alliance with one another, we actually got to work at Cisco headquarters in San Jose, Brilliant. sending engineers down from Seattle. And we were the first to market with the device package for APIC, yep. which is great, it's great to be first. More importantly though, we have the most, and still do, the most feature-rich device package for APIC. And so the yield of that uh, from the get-go is a robust pipeline of customers interested in moving forward with the joint integration. And so we have a, a, a rhythm of business yep. uh, as a result of that effort, and uh, we've learned a lot. And so as Sony John Donnie was quoted from Cisco in our recent announcement about Big IQ, yep. customers have said, this is great, we like this, thank you for working with one another, we want even more agility and flexibility uh -huh. with our ACI, ACI deployment. And so as a result of that, one of the learnings, uh, news if you will, is that we've collaboratively started focusing on a big IQ centric integration for APIC. Let's pick up on that. So ACI, you mentioned Sony Giandani, who's one of our senior vice presidents here at Cisco. What are the business value benefits sure. of the way that F5 and Cisco working together in relation to ACI? Sure, sure. Uh, well, you know, at the meta level, it's all about applications. You know, the letter A in ACI is, is, is application, right? Yep. And so it's all about application uh, deployment anywhere at any time, time based on automated policies that ensure the network and layer four through seven services uh, are, are present to deliver yep. on uh, 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 application success. So specifically, uh, deployment velocity mm -hmm. based on those automated policies. And with that, you get a lower total cost of ownership. You get you know, improved OPEX, yep. which customers quite like. CIOs, CFOs are fans of that. <laughs> of uh, course it, they are. So, so uh, at a technical level, uh, an example of a benefit is secure multi-tenancy. Okay, let's that's get that. That's something that you have to have for any cloud deployment of consequence. And that's something that F5 has been uh, at the forefront of, and it's something that Cisco valued uh, within the ACI construct. So that's one of the benefits that we brought to the integration. Another technical value that is also a business value as well, and this is something that Cisco's been focused on. If you listen to Sony uh, do a keynote, she always talks about this, investment protection, Yeah. right? Customers are excited about ACI, and, 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 and well, they should be. The value proposition is compelling. But where they find themselves at the moment from a technology deployment perspective should be a milepost on the way to the, through the journey that is extracting value yeah. from ACI. They don't want to go backwards to move forwards again. So specific to F5, customers have made significant investments in differentiated innovations from F5. They've grown to depend on them. Things like route domains, VCMP, I mentioned multi-tenancy, uh, programmability uh, at the data in the control plane with our eye rules, our eye control. Customers want to be able to continue to take advantage of those. They don't want to have to give up all of them or even some portion of them to move forward with ACI. And so Cisco's approach is fantastic and they don't normalize uh, the value propositions that their ecosystem partners can bring to the ACI party, yep. if you will. Customers <laughs> appreciate that. And, and so do we. I so love that, the great. ACI party, that's brilliant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you mentioned the big IQ announcement from Sony Giandani. From tell me more about that. Okay, uh, I'll tell you two things. Um, one's just general uh, industry focus, and another one is very specific to ACI. Generally speaking, um, our historic constituency, networking professionals, are put, being put under more and more pressure uh, to support 
uh, more and more dynamic application postures, right? Yep. And so with that comes a requirement to, you know, be application fluent, if you will. You know, speak the language of applications, <laughs> be able to instrument, right? And, you know, historically that's not something that they had been focused on. They're networking professionals. F5 has understood this for a long time, and we came out with a technology called IAPS years ago for our big IP platform. Uh -huh. So at the push of a button, literally, uh, you know, on a screen button, not a, a button, uh, <laughs> you can have access to an, a large portfolio of deployment templates yeah. uh, for common application deployments. Uh, and that's something that's been widely embraced by networking engineers. So that would make it really easy for them, wouldn't it? Exactly, the easy button. Absolutely the easy button. So, what does it have to do with Big IQ? Well, remember what I said, these application postures are becoming more and more dynamic. Uh, uh, the, the, the implementation scenarios run amok, if you will. So, you need to have that application fluency at scale. Big IQ brings that application fluency forward with these iApps at scale. So that's just the general value. Specific to ACI, it's related to uh, the investment protection that I described earlier. So, customers are excited about, uh, and we have a pipeline that's evidence of this, customers are excited about the big IP specific device package that we developed in concert with Cisco. Gets them started today, gives them confidence that this is real and that there's a roadmap of consequence, okay? The Big IQ integration brings the full faith and credit of okay. the total Big IP platform to the ACI construct today. So customers are excited about our core module in Big IP, that's LTM, Local Traffic Management, but they also want to be able to take advantage of the other modules, ASM, AFM, APM, et cetera. They want to be able to take advantage of the programmability, the data and control plane, as I referenced earlier, that they've grown to depend on. They don't. They don't want to give up the custom developed I rules that they've created in the past to be able to take advantage of ACI. Big IQ ensures that they're able to do so. Again, brings forward the totality of the value proposition that F5 brings to the market. So customers are excited about it, Cisco's excited about it, which means we're excited about it. You are it. clearly very excited about yes. it. It yes. really does wrap it all together, doesn't it? You're exhibiting in the world of solutions. Indeed. What can our delegates, there's 8,000 people on site in Milan this year at Cisco Live. Right. What can they expect to see if they come to the F5 booth? Can they see any of this demonstrated? Absolutely, absolutely. There, we have six demos. Okay. Um, and, 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 and so, um, uh, you know, what I would encourage them to do is don't take my word for it. Go see it yourself. In this industry, a lot of people announce strategic alliances or even technology, if you will. <laughs> and we've created a lot of cynicism out in the marketplace. Yeah. I like to joke when alliances are announced. Uh, so and so and so and so are getting together to form an alliance. We haven't done anything yet, but in the meantime, keep buying stuff from us, <laughs> right? Uh, that's not our style. It, we, 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 we do the work. Yeah. And so if you go to the booth, you're going to see the yield of that work, work that we've done on our own and in concert with, with Cisco. So get to the booth. That is brilliant. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure meeting you. So you heard it from the man himself. Go to the F5 booth, see this technology in action. F5 and Cisco in a fantastic relationship working on ACI. The big announcement there on IQ from Sony Giandani. We've just referenced it. I'm James Bedford. Thank you for watching Cisco Live TV.